Hi, my name's Nikki. I am 35 and live in Glasgow with my husband Johnny and our two children, Tom, who's three and a half, and Cora, who's one and a half. I'm also 37 weeks pregnant with baby number three, which means we're going to have three under four. Um, the reason I am vlogging for Tiny Tickers just now is that our first child, Tom, was born with congenital heart disease. We didn't know he had it until he had a pulse oximeter test, which um, revealed really low oxygen levels just before we were sent home from hospital. Um, we believe strongly that that test saved his life as he had some very serious heart conditions, including transposition of the great arteries where his um, pulmonary artery and aorta were round the wrong way and two large holes in his heart. Um, these babies often present normal um, because the, there's a duct within the heart that doesn't close with it until they're a few days old. Um, so at birth these babies can appear normal, a few days later they will go downhill and go into heart failure. Unfortunately signs of heart failure are not that well recognised by a lot of pa uh, new parents, especially first time mums as we were and dads. Um, therefore these babies can be treated for all sorts of things such as poor feeding and failure to thrive um, and there are certainly cases where these babies have really sadly passed away because the um, heart condition hasn't been picked up in time. However, with Tom, we were really lucky because this heart condition was picked up by a really savvy junior doctor. Um, he was able to be uh, transferred straight away to intensive care. Um, he had open heart surgery at eight days old and he has gone on to do really, really well. We thank our lucky stars every day for that because we do realise how different our outcome could be. So <coughs> I have agreed to vlog this latter part of this pregnancy and the birth of the next baby and I've also um, included our um, annual trip to hospital for Tom's cardiology review um, so you'll get to see him in that video. It might look a bit mean that we didn't take our one and a half year old to that appointment we didn't just ditch her like she stayed with her granny and that we generally do that because it's a lot of waiting about and we like the day where Tom has a cardiology appointment to be all about him. So I'm sure I will get some footage of Cora in one of the uh, one of the vlog posts so you know that she's not the forgotten child. She's the middle child of three and we really don't want her to be the forgotten child from the outset. So I'll say bye for now and um, I will catch up with you probably next when my pregnancy progresses. Um, I'm due to be induced at 39 weeks. I'm 37 plus two at the moment because nothing to do with hearts, um, to do with... I take a medication that thins my blood and it's important that I don't go into labour naturally because they need, I need to be in hospital effectively if I'm in labour. So that's what will be the next step and I will bring you along for the ride but not the uh, gory bits unfortunately because no one's seen that. Alright, thanks then, bye. So we are on our way to the children's hospital for Tom's cardiology review that she has once a year. Um, Tom's excited. We are maybe a little bit nervous, anxious, I guess. Like, uh, I think you always just wonder that whether you're going to get good news at these appointments. And so far it's always been good and we just always wonder if we're pushing our luck. But hey, we need to make sure he thinks that it's going to be a great time when he's watching the video, so that's all good. Um, so we shall update you when we're there. Bye! Oh, is this a toy hospital? Like, you can take an x-ray of a teddy. Here we go, teddy. Right, you do it. Is your teddy okay? No.
one sandwich? Well, you're not far from the truth, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Standard children's lunch. <laughs> Tom, can you remember what you had for lunch? What did you have for lunch? Macaroni. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you have a cheese sandwich? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Ah, see, that would have been the next thing. You spoon over here, Tom, didn't you? Yeah. Good. You don't want a spoon? I just want ice cream with that spoon. Your fingers, can't Tom, am I allowed a chocolate chip? Yeah. Thank you. So I just wanted to update you on how we got on at the hospital today. Um, we It was great. Everything was um, as good as it could have been, which is such a big weight off our shoulders. Um, you seem to, when you've got a child with a heart condition, you just live from one year to the next, really, from being told they're okay until your next appointment. And you generally feel okay for a few months after you've been told that they're doing well. And then the anxiety starts to build up until your next appointment and I think that's probably always going to be the case so I'm not looking for anything to change there but it's such a relief to know that Tom's surgery has been a success. He, there's no ongoing concerns about his heart. His heart is actually structurally normal at the moment um, because it's been repaired um, and they've got no concerns uh, at this moment. That's not to say that with time things won't develop but certainly as things stand he has a pretty normal heart. So I can't believe how much of a weight that is off our shoulders and it certainly allows us to focus on this next baby and hopefully try and relax about the fact that it's going to have a hopefully normal heart and we just feel very very lucky. Um, we know children with the same condition as Tom who haven't had the same outcome and who have restrictions placed on them for life. Um, Tom lives a normal life. He goes to nursery. I would say probably nine out of ten people at nursery don't even know there's there was ever anything wrong with him because you wouldn't know um, unless you were to take his t-shirt off and see a line down his chest. And that's just because he was treated appropriately and quickly. And the reason he was treated appropriately and quickly was because his heart condition was picked up early. And hence why I think it's so important that other babies are given the same chance. It's not fair that some babies are tested at a very young age for heart conditions with a pulse oximeter and others have to go into heart failure before these things are picked up and that's just a postcode lottery and it's wrong. Um, so we're lucky at the moment and we're really grateful for that. I'll update you soon with uh, when I've got some news on this uh, new baby. Um, hopefully it won't shift for a couple of weeks yet because we're not ready so it can't. And, uh, I will let you know what happens. Bye.